Welcome to Dardanelle State Park for day two of the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so here's a quick recap. After heavy rains on Friday, day one kicked off under cloudy conditions with stained and cooling water. At midday, a front pushed through, bringing winds gusting to 25, wreaking havoc to the shallow sight fishing pattern many had found in practice. At the end of the day, Kentucky's Murray State was on top, dominating the field and locking up the top three positions on the Cabela's leaderboard. The other story is the race for Cabela's School of the Year, presented by Abu Garcia. Coming into this event, Bryan College is in the lead with the University of North Alabama and Mississippi State right on their heels. On day one, Bryan College had the Fog Brothers, Chandler and Connor, along with Nathan Bell and Cole Sands finishing the day in 15th, giving them a little breathing room in the overall standings. So here we are. We've got 129 boats on the water this morning for a total of 78 teams representing 51 collegiate campuses. Checking the Cabela's forecast, we're looking at post-frontal conditions on day two. We'll see a high in the mid-70s with bluebird skies and a light wind out of the south. Okay, anglers, day two, 2017. Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. So, with all the details in place, we'll get out on the water for tournament coverage. We'll kick things off with Hunter Mills and Hunter McKinley, one half of the second place team representing Murray State University. We've just been throwing these crankbaits up on that flat. That's the only thing we can get them to eat is a crankbait. Yeah. I lost a big one right off that tree yesterday about 9.30, 9 o'clock on a Texas rig bug, and it was a big one. But So we know there's good fish here. Nice thing is it should reload throughout the day too. We got down here Monday, and uh, we, ac we actually had to run back to Kentucky Monday night after we got down here Monday morning, because we had motor issues, but uh, one of our our uh, marinas back home was able to get us in and nothing, nowhere around here was able to get us in so we were able to get the boat in and get fixed and we ended up getting back here Tuesday night and only missed one day of practice so it's been a rough week but uh, we're ready to go catch them this morning. This is Ryan Lancaster and Boris Moskov fishing for Murray State. They're one half of the team in third. Did you hit that tire? Where's that? Right, straight out from me. Net? No. Little one. What's happened is uh, it's a little backwater area and it was, the water was down a whole lot and then the storm came through and the storm came through and actually rose, rose the water where we're at probably about two foot. So we were flipping things that are in like two foot of water now that we're on the bank. So we've actually got a lot more cover to flip now and uh, we're just gonna go in there and flip every piece of cover, whether it's grass or lay downs or stumps or, or whatever we can find and see what we can pull out. That'll work. Number one. Two and a half, maybe. Moving on, we'll check in with Murray State's Nick and Nick. They're one half of the leading team. Interestingly enough, each of the teams from Murray State is fishing completely different waters. A good testament to their abilities. stuff's so gnarly. I know, dude, it's amazing. It's nuts. Current, baby. Yesterday we had a lot of wind, and a, there was a lot of current pushing through here because of the storms that came through the night before, and that's settled down a lot, and it's gonna be hot and calm today, so it's gonna hurt a lot of people, and I just hope it doesn't hurt us, too. <laughs> Back on Lancaster and Moskov. Hold on. That's what we need. God. 
Remember, in this team format, each boat is responsible for just three fish. Anglers are looking for an average of a uh, three to four pound fish to be competitive. That's a little bit better one there. Hey, just got one three pounder. Yep. That's all right, don't worry about it, just keep flipping. And I was just gonna tell you, um, I'm throwing that green pumpkin flash, same thing we've been throwing. Yep, yep, if, I mean, they're not everywhere by no means, but if we keep doing this for the rest of the day, we'll have our bites. But make sure you're, both of the fish we've caught have come out of the grass, so make sure you're flipping at every little piece of grass you see. All right, bye.